Hello geometry students. We are going to start angle or excuse me, section one four. Um, we can measure and classify angles and identify and use congruent angles and the bisector of an angle. So here is some vocabulary. Um, if you want to write these down in your notes, that's fine. I also have a visual to show you. But if you like words, here is this slide for you. So you can pause the video and write these definitions down. But the next slide I'm going to show you a visual. So you can write down one or the other, or you can write down both. Go ahead and pause if you want to write down the words. So a ray is a part of a line. Opposite ray are two rays that share a common endpoint. Angle is two non-correlinear rays that have a common endpoint. The vertex is a common endpoint. Interior is inside the angle, exterior is outside the angle, and the degree is dividing the distance around the circle into 360 points. Okay, so what does that all mean? So let's have a visual of what all of these mean. So you're gonna go ahead and draw this picture. And let me describe what this picture shows. This picture is actually an angle this is an angle right here. So this piece right here is an angle. It's made up of two rays. This is angle. We show a little angle sign. This is angle ABC. This angle right here. And this BA, this is ray BA. So this is a ray because it's a part of the line. It has an ending point and it goes on and on forever. So this would be a ray BC. And then both rays make up an angle. So then an angle where two rays meet, this is the vertex. So the vertex would be B. And we also had interior so interior is going to be the inside of the angle. This would be the interior. And then the exterior is the outside of the angle. So this would be the exterior. And an opposite ray, I don't have an opposite ray on here. I can draw one really quick. An opposite ray is pretty much just a line with a dot in between, this would be an opposite ray. And then the degree, these are the degrees that we will measure inside the angle from the starting point, or from the starting side of the angle to the ending side, and that will be our degrees in relation to 360. So let's talk about angles. Angles have names. For example, this angle will be angle ABC. Or we could call it angle 3. This angle would be MNP or angle 2. Sometimes we'll label them with numbers. Sometimes it will be with three letters. And you have to follow those letters to find out what angle we're actually measuring. So here we're measuring A to B to C. So this is the angle that um, we're talking about. And this one we're measuring or we're naming it M to N to P. So this is the angle inside here that we're talking about. Pause the video and write this down if you need to. So there's different um, types of angles that we can classify. A right angle, which you guys all knew in class the other day when we were talking about right triangles, is 90 degrees straight up and down. It's also called perpendicular. Feel free to pause the video and write this down. An obtuse angle is an angle greater than 90 degrees but less than 180. 180 right here is the straight line. This is 180, so obtuse is in between 90 and 180. Acute is um, less than 90 but greater than zero. So here it's um, the small angles. And then the last one, oh, these some examples. So are these angles obtuse or acute? Go ahead and pause the video and try this out. So the first one is obtuse. 
The second one is acute. Next vocabulary word, sorry, I have a lot of vocab in this section, is angle bisector. And you're going to see this over and over and over again throughout this whole course. So you really need to know what bisector means. Um, an angle bisector is a ray that divides an angle into two congruent angles. So remember what congruent means? They're equal. So these two angles here, we have BD is going to bisect or BD bisects the angle ABC. So when it does that, we know that these are congruent angles. And just by showing that these are um, these little arcs right here, that shows that they're congruent. Um, you, sometimes you'll see some books or some examples put a little slash through them, but otherwise if you just show those little arcs, that's how you know that they're congruent. So angle because of a bisector, a bisector always cuts stuff in half, angle ABD is congruent to angle CBD because of that bisector, because of the definition of bisector. So let's use bisects in a problem with algebra. So pause the video and write this down. Okay, so we're going to mark up this picture here. Let's say OC bisects angle AOB. So here's AOB. Oh, I already made a mark on there. Here's AOB. And since it bisects AOB, we know it's going to be cut in half here. So these two angles are congruent to one another. And AOC is 2N plus 7. And COB is 4N minus 13, right here. Okay, so we need to find what COB is. And so, how can we do that? Well, by the definition of bisector, we know that these two angles are congruent. And by the definition of congruent, we know that these two angles are equal. So we can set them equal and then solve for n. So I want you to go ahead and do that. I want you to go ahead and solve for n, pause the video at this time. Okay, so I was just getting started here. And I'm going to subtract 2n. So I have 20 equals 2n. So n equals 10. But that's not what it's asking. It's asking for angle COB. And that little m, I should say, that little m means the measure of COB. Sorry, I didn't bring that up later or earlier. Um, so we have 4 times 10 minus 13, which is going to be 40 minus 13. So the measure of angle COB is equal to 40 minus 13. 27. And that would be our answer. So that's all I have for you. Sorry it's a little long. Make sure you write down any questions that you have and we will practice this in class together. Alright, we'll see you guys later. Have a wonderful day.